to draw the inverse of this graph, all that we need to do is find some coordinates. Now you need to know that this over here is an exponential graph. So, and, and what we can see is that this exponential graph has been moved down by four. So I'm just gonna draw a rough sketch of what it would look like, or of a random exponential graph that has been moved down. It could be something like this. You would have your dotted line, which represents your asymptote, and then it could go downwards like this, or it could go upwards. We will find out what it looks like by finding the x-intercepts and the y-intercept. So, but what we do need to make sure that we find is the asymptote, x-intercept, if there is one, sometimes there isn't for these graphs, and then a y-intercept. Okay, so the asymptote is always this number over here. So that's going to be y equals to negative 4. That will be our asymptote. To find the x-intercept, we'll make y0. Then you can take the 4 over. So 4 is the same as 2 to the power of 2. You can cancel the 2s and x would be equal to 2. So our x-intercept is going to be 2 and 0. And then to find our y-intercept, you make x equal to 0. Now be careful here, yeah? a lot of people just scratch this out. That's not true. It actually becomes 2 to the power of 0. Now 2 to the power of 0 is 1, and so your y-intercept is minus 3. Whoops. And so that's going to be 0 and minus 3. Now all that you do is you flip all of this around. So y equals to negative 4 becomes x equals to negative 4. This point over here becomes 0 and 2, and then this point becomes minus 3 and 0. And then you just go plot that. So x equals to negative 4 is a dotted line. It's an asymptote going downwards like this. And that makes sense because in the original graph it was horizontal and in this graph it will now be vertical because everything flips around. Label that as x equals to negative 4. Then we've got this point 0 and 2 which would be here. And then minus 3 and 0 would be somewhere over here. And so there we can plot our graph. We'll usually do something like that.